Yeah. All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you boop, with a new episode of Pokemon Go here on Andy Cade. And uh, before we head off on our Pokemon journey, I just wanted to show you guys my recording setup for these episodes. So, see you in the next bit. Okay, so we have here the Zoom H2N mic, which is like my primary mic for most audio recording nowadays, with a little, well not the little, but like the big old poof, so that way you don't hear wind noise and stuff like that. And I did shave a little bit of it off here, uh, just for various reasons, mostly just so that way the little hairs don't show up in the mic as often. Um, I have it in the XY pattern, so I guess in this because the mic is facing away from me right now, you might not be able to hear me as good, so sorry about that. Uh, just having a standard XY pattern, about five gain, I think I have it, on the little dial over there. And then I just have it attached with a little male male connector here. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. There's a male to male connector in between the um, H2N and the selfie stick, which I just got in Japan for like 10 bucks or whatever. Uh, nothing too major. Then I have the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition and I have it kind of tilted a little bit so that way um, you can see more of me and less of the mic hopefully. You do see a little bit of the, uh, the puff in some shots but you know the idea is just to see mostly me and not so much the mic. And the mic is facing upwards towards towards my face so that way you can hear more of my recording. So anyway enough talking shop let's get on a Pokemon journey. So yeah in the next bit. All right guys, so I decided to do this setup a little bit differently. Also got a screen capture program for uh, Pokemon Go so you can actually see what I'm doing here. And, I can't, and I'm coming back to the same place that I was at in the first video because um, I didn't really know what I was doing. So this time I do. So we're gonna go ahead, see what goodies are at this uh, Pokemon stop here. Okay, we got some Pokeballs, a, uh, looks like a Revive I think. Okay, that it? Oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> a little anticlimactic, but I guess we're supposed to try again and like, uh, just says later, I guess. So, all right. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna head back to the previous uh, stop, see if we can get some more goodies. And uh, I'm now level five, so I can actually challenge uh, the gym, even though I'm gonna get utterly slaughtered because I just barely made the cut. So uh, we're gonna see how that goes in the next bit. See you there. All right, guys, so we're getting a little bit closer. Oh, I think I just lost a Pidgey. Oh, well, no big deal. We got like a billion of those things. Oh, wow, a Jigglypuff, I think, is nearby. So anyway, we're gonna keep going. I just went to the post office to get uh, the stuff from that place, but there's a lot of people around, so I didn't wanna get my camera out and stuff and I can still kind of see people like in their cars kind of look at me like what are you doing but whatever <laughs> just gotta learn to uh, ignore those kinds of people whenever you're doing outside videos so oops yeah that's me level five yeah total noob <laughs> but uh yeah getting some uh, potions some revives stuff like that and uh, hoping to make these videos a little better, hoping to level up and get good, but you know, I don't get too many days off nowadays, so. Oh, oh look, a Weedle! Better! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. There we go. Easy day, right? <laughs> Getting that Weedle, son! And we got him! Weedle was caught. All right, cool, cool. Let's see if we can get that Jigglypuff, though. Needs me a Jigglypuff in my life. So, let's zoom out a little bit here. That's a bit better, okay. <laughs> I like to have it at like a certain angle here, so that way I can see everything. So we're getting closer to that gym that's being, uh, let's, let's have a look at this gym, see what we're dealing with here. Uh-huh, great work. Looks like you're about ready to start participating in Pokemon battles. I have three excellent assistants. 
each directed team, and each have slightly different approaches to researching Pokemon. Blah, gym, blah. Okay, oh, it's having us choose a team. Never lose when you trust your instincts. Then we got Blanche, leader of Team Mystic. Hmm. Wisdom, I'm researching it, all that stuff. So, yeah. Doves. Doves and shit. Nah. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so it's time to select our team to join. And uh, I think I'm gonna go with Team Mystic. What can I say? I like blue. Sorry, Team Valor. Suck it. <laughs> this gym is too far away. Yeah, whatever. You got a level 680 or CP 684 Vaporeon. Jesus, dog. That's a uh, that's a little too rich for my blood. But uh, we're gonna try it anyway, because I guess I hear that even if your Pokemon are like low CP level, they can still kind of like chip away and at least gain experience or something. I don't know. It's fucking weird. Anyway, getting a little bit closer. So, see you in the next bit. All right, guys. So we're here, getting a little bit. We're right by the cemetery here. So I'm gonna collect the little goodies from this Poke Stop, Dry Prairie Cemetery here in Portage, Michigan. <laughs> That's Portage, so, okay. So we got some Pokeballs, an egg. Oh, nice. I'll have to get like an incubator or something for that at some other point. So, interesting. All right. Well, I guess that's all the goodies for that one. So, let's, oh, wow. Looks like this gym's already battling, so. We're battling somebody. I don't know who. It's too far away. Do I really have to be that freaking close to it? Jeez Louise. All right, do we have any Pokemon or anything nearby? Got that jiggly, Jigglypuff still pretty elusive, but uh, we'll keep on keeping on here. Ugh. I got the cemetery in the background. <laughs> it's pretty old. The old prairie cemetery, I guess what it's called, or dry prairie, sorry. <laughs> A lot of really old graves. Ooh, kind of creepy looking, like some kind of haunted house level shenaniganry we got going on here. So, oh look, there's a car out out at the gym. I wonder, wonder if they're the ones battling out here. That'd be some shit, huh? Not too far. I'm I'm literally right by the gym right now, or the location of the gym. Fucking GPS, not knowing what's going here. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know how freaking close you have to be. Still too far away, apparently. Oh, there goes that other car. I wonder if they're playing Pokemon Go. Probably. I don't know. So, too far. It's literally right here. There we go. Okay. So let's do it, y'all. I guess that's the battle button here. So That's the only one that's close enough, I guess. I don't want to do the AR. Welcome to the battle, or something, I don't fucking know. Anyway. Alright, cool, so I just tap, do I just tap, dodge, dodge. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, that didn't last long, did it? Okay, cool. Hey. Wild Paris. What you gonna do, right? So. Beep. And at least I got a Paris. At least they got a Paris. <laughs> I thought you could like swarm it with like a bunch of low level Pokemon or something. I don't know. It's weird. But, uh, I want to see if I can give it another shot. Okay. Got a fellowship ring, I guess, in the back. Okay, let's give this. Jimston Park. It's literally right there. Literally right there. Oh, well. Fuck it. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Is there anything else nearby? Some kind of fellowship ring. Hmm. Okay. Apparently there's some kind of a uh, fellowship ring in the back or something. I don't know. It's literally, literally McDonald. 
Sorry, I'm just reading signs. Blech. Anyway, some kind of fellowship ring or something in the back. So I'm gonna go collect some goodies and heal my poor Pokemon. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. I probably could have at least gotten in a couple hits, but fuck, dog. I, or shoot, I mean, sorry. Near a church, I kind of feel bad about swearing. Sorry. I mean, gee whiz. Gosh dang. So some kind of fellowship ring or some shit in the back. There's stuff in the back, sorry. And that car is leaving. <laughs> I wonder if it was challenging the gym too. That'd be interesting. So I'm just worried that like someone's gonna come out of nowhere like, you play Pokemon Go, dude? You're like 30, what are you doing, man? Drive around in your car like a normal person. I'm trying to get in the spirit of things. Anyway, how close am I getting to this ring? Am I playing Pokemon or Lord of the Rings here? I don't know. I feel weird. Oh, a cardinal. And if you saw that in the background, that little red blur was a cardinal. It's kind of funny because cardinals are the state bird of Ohio, and I see more of them here in Michigan than I do in Ohio. Weird. I think it's, apparently it's over here? I think it's here. It's over there. Okay. <laughs> the GPS was a little wonky. So I guess it's back here in this totally shady parking lot. Hope I don't get jumped. <laughs> now we're out in the middle of the woods. And... Okay. Yay. Look at this fellowship ring. Isn't it neat? All right. Let's collect the goodies. All right. Yeah, some bugs. Beep, beep, beep. Got some Pokeballs. Got some revives. That's neat, I guess. Speaking of. Pokemons, let's uh, let's revive our Pokemons. <laughs> oh, it's already revived. Never mind. I guess they can only be used in battle or something. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, freaking bugs and stuff out here. It's crazy, dude. All right. So at least we got that. Still no sign of Jigglypuff or anything really. All right, so we got that old gym, got the stuff from over there. Is there anything else in this area? I'm um, not, ah, freaking, lots of bugs and stuff around here, dude. Give me the heebie-jeebies. So, um, I think we'll go ahead and see if we can find anything in the area and then move on. So yeah, see you in the next bit. All right, guys, so we're here at yet another church. It seems like every church here, at least in my local area, has a poke stop, so that's kind of uh, interesting. So we're here at the, uh, what is this? The Cross Community Community Church of the Nazarene. So I'm just gonna spin this guy, get a couple more Pokeballs, some revives. That's cool. And there's another church, just uh, <clears throat> a couple, uh, looks like a couple meters or so up. Uh, whew, it's a hot one out today. Uh, the humidity is pretty high today. It was raining earlier, so I was like uh, really concerned because I really wanted to do uh, a Pokemon Go video today on my first day off in a week. <laughs> so um, yeah, as far as these uh, these Pokemon Go videos uh, go, <laughs> um, I just I, I can only do them really when I can. Uh, just when I get the free time, when I get a day off, stuff like that. So it's not going to be like a daily series or anything like that. It's probably just going to be most likely a weekly or bi-weekly series. Or a, yeah, not bi-weekly, but a twice weekly series. I guess that's bi-weekly? I don't know. <laughs> so I just kind of do what I can. You know, I work a lot. Got to pay the bills, make the rent money, keep myself fed. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, I actually found out I lost almost uh, 10 pounds recently. Um, I think it's just from eating a bit better. Wouldn't attribute it to Pokemon Go because I don't play Pokemon Go all that much. But, uh, you know, eating a bit better, uh, working more, stuff like that. It's getting hot, so it's really, really kind of muggy out today, so, you know. 
all that the body has to do to um, keep itself cool, I guess. Although I did hear that the body actually burns more calories trying to warm yourself up versus uh, keeping yourself cool. So I find that kind of interesting. So, anyway, am I close enough? Because the, the, we got this. Okay, stop. The Kalamazoo First Assembly of God. But it's on the other side of the street, as you can see behind me. So I'm hoping, hoping that we can get this Poke, I can get close enough to the Poke Stop to where I don't have to cross the street because that's it's kind of a kind of a dicey affair. It's like that's kind of the problem. With some of these Poke Stops is that they're in kind of dangerous spots or in hard to reach spots. So um, <clears throat> you know, it's kind of hard to get to. And plus, you got to get like fairly close to some of them, you know, like. Especially with stuff like this, I don't really feel comfortable, uh, you know, walking and talking on my camera here. So it can be kind of risky. And especially, you know, apparently out here, you know, you just, it's the exit to uh, the highway. So very busy, very, very busy. So I gotta, at some point, you know, find a, a better way to go I guess but uh can't cross here so I'm gonna have to uh find another way even though I'm so freaking close but apparently not close enough sadly otherwise I'd be able to access the poke stop because if I get close enough to it the uh the little block here will turn into a circle and I can just spin the circle and uh get all the poke goodies but apparently I'm too far away so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna backtrack and then forward track to see because um, it's a little a little too dangerous to cross you know, I'm not gonna friggin <laughs> risk life and limb just to get some goodies from a poke stop I mean that's kind of silly so I should always observe proper safety and common sense when dealing with these things just a little PSA and also don't forget to pack some water and you know some food or whatever depending on how long you're going out for um, I just got myself a, a liter of water in my uh, backpack so that way uh, I'm not dying of thirst out here <laughs> this very humid weather really really friggin hot so uh, sure to practice common sense Pack some water, pack, uh, I don't know, trail mix, granola bar, whatever, something light to keep you filled during these poke adventures. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, basically make a big ass U turn, <clears throat> get to the first crossing so I can cross the street, then come all the way back here, but on the other side of the street. So, see you in the next bit. All right, guys, so I finally arrived here at the Kalamazoo First Assembly of God. Apparently, there's a lot of poke stops at churches. I think this is the most I've ever gone to church in a while. Peach. So anyway, now we finally reach that side. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff. Got an egg, revive, some pokeballs. That's pretty cool. Got a new egg. <laughs> Uh, I guess another Pokemon Go player, I suppose. Um, I've seen a couple of those, a couple of them running around, mostly in cars. I don't actually see them out there physically running around. Hey, there's another one. Cross community. Oh, I already did that. Okay, <laughs> that's at the other side. All right, let's see if we have any more in the area. I don't really see any more. Um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, just call it here, and uh, I'm going to look up some more uh, different Poke Stops and stuff in, for the next video, so that way you guys get a uh, change of change of scenery, even though you got a couple new things, but uh, I think uh, a nice change of scenery will be nice. Maybe we'll go to downtown Kalamazoo or something like that, uh, depending on the weather and what else is going on. So 
with that said, this is the Andy Son. Sign up for now, thinking you guys cool. for tuning in to my latest adventures in Pokemon Go here on Andy Cade and for watching my other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for liking for the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending your friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.